The Marvels didn't go higher, further or faster during its opening weekend in theaters. The latest entrant in the Marvel Cinematic Universe hauled in an estimated $47 million domestically over its debut weekend, the lowest in the 30-plus film franchise's history. Initial predictions saw the film opening at between $75 million and $80 million domestically, but those figures shrunk to a range between $60 million and $65 million ahead of Friday's opening. Internationally, the Marvels garnered $63.3 million in ticket sales, bringing its global haul to $110.3 million. Despite posting the lowest domestic debut for the MCU, the Marvels proved once again the importance of the international marketplace for the Marvel brand, said Paul Durgarabedian, senior media analyst at Comsca. The film will now rely on Thanksgiving holiday corridor movie going to help move the big-budget superhero film closer to profitability and help to determine the film's ultimate success at the box office. While critics were lukewarm on The Marvels, giving the flick a 62% on Rotten Tomatoes, audiences were more receptive with an 85% score. Still, Disney had an uphill battle drawing moviegoers to theaters for its 33rd MCU film, which the company likely understood. CEO Bob Iger has already said this year that the studio would scale back its Marvel slate. After 2019's Avengers Endgame, which wrapped up storylines and arcs for popular characters like Captain America, Chris Evans, and Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr., Marvel Studios' theatrical and streaming content has been hit or miss with audiences. It has also had a difficult time marketing its new projects to audiences, as it seeks to hit nostalgic notes but also push its storytelling forward. Marvel has simply set a very high standard for themselves, said Sean Robbins, chief analyst at BoxOffice.com. When a new film or series is released, they have more pressure to stand on their own while also pushing the universe forward. Not to mention, the studio inundated Disney Plus with series in an effort to pad its platform, making some fans feel like they had to slog through hours of stories in order to understand what was happening in the films. Expanding the MCU brand past the Goldilocks zone of balanced exposure without feeling like homework to the casual audience has created a challenge for the franchise to begin correcting for, Robin said. That is perhaps why, the Marvels, landed the second lowest opening day for a MCU film, securing just $21.5 million on Friday. This figure includes $6.6 .6 million from Thursday night previews. The only film to snare fewer ticket sales on its first day in domestic theaters was 2008's The Incredible Hulk, which was the second-ever MCU film after Iron Man became a surprise smash earlier that year. Robbins was quick to underscore that this box office stumble doesn't mean that audiences are ready to give up on the MCU. After all, the franchise has generated nearly $30 billion since 2008.